Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here and... The water boy. The water boy. He's filling up the dog's water dish. What is this, a five-gallon? I think it's a five-gallon. It's a five-gallon water dish, you know. Um, and uh, he's filling it up because it, it's um, really too heavy for me to be lifting. I yeah. shouldn't be lifting it with the hernia. But anyway, <laughs> it is... October 29th, 2017, Sunday evening. It is 6.09 p.m. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> Time to do it. Yep. So, um, let me pull up the weather real quick. Oh, God. I know, Charlie. It's a cooler day out. Much cooler. It is 60 degrees. Real fill is 55. The high was only 60, and the low will be 41. I saw that. Yeah, so I don't know if we're going to have to dig out that little heater tonight or not. Um, but um, I wasn't going to do a video at all today, because Brad and I were just talking. And um, uh, I'm going to start taking Sundays off from doing videos, but I wanted to come on here and tell you guys that, because I know a few of you guys do worry if you don't... Uh, uh, see a video from me, but Sunday we like it to be kind of our day off um, Especially now that he's on a steady schedule. So that makes a big difference. We've always treated Sundays as our day off and um, I don't normally even really Communicate on the phone much on Sundays or with text um, It's just a very low-key day for us. We do just what we have to like uh, Brad did do laundry, and I've got to go back and fold it. Um, but other than that, like, we're not even cooking a big meal. Brad, Well, Brad already did biscuits and gravy this morning. And um, we're just having a fend-for-yourself dinner. And we're just kind of sitting back. He's watching whatever he wants on TV. I'm watching whatever I want here on uh, the laptop on Netflix. Um, but I think everybody really needs that. I think everybody really needs that. I am not the type of woman and have never been that likes the hurry scurry lifestyle. I don't like a lot of pressure. I don't I've never been one of these women that wanted to have a career where I'm just, you know, running home from work and I'm yelling at the kids and I don't here you go, babe. And I don't have time for anything and you know. Um and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with people that like that style, lifestyle. I just have never been that way. Um, I like a little bit more of a slower paced lifestyle. And um, so does Brad. That's why we fit together so well. And, um, you know, we like to sit and read a book. Or mm -hmm. we like to sit and talk. Or play cards. Or watch we typically watch different things on on tv because we have different tastes and and stuff um but we're sitting in the same room just yeah. you know inches apart but um yeah so sundays is really important to me now that he is going to have every sunday off that we have that day just for us um so don't worry if if i don't respond to text messages as much or if um and you won't be seeing a video from me after this Sunday from now on on Sunday. This is my official day off. Um, you know, uh, I don't even tend to watch much YouTube on Sundays. Uh, catch up, uh, you know, during the week and stuff. Um, it's really important for me to have time with Brad because our schedule has been really, really messed up for a, a number of years. Mm -hmm. And we really like it when he has typically Sunday and Monday off. And we like it if he had both days off. And now that he writes the schedule, he, you know, pretty much was guaranteed that unless he had some help call off. Um, but uh, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, for us, we are. Um, are we are we boxed up the hat today, or are you going to do it tomorrow? Let's do it tomorrow. Yeah, let's do. Let's put off everything okay. for tomorrow. I mean, because it doesn't. Because it won't take you that long to write the. No. You know. I don't know. With the list of all the people who've been helping you. 
Now I got to write down lists. I know. We're going to box up the hats tomorrow and mail them. Um, I'm going to give Brad a list of everybody that's contributed uh, so he can put that in with the, with the thank you. Uh, uh, he always, we always do a uh, card. Um, and I'm going to be also mailing a box of stuff off to my friend Linda Kay. And then I'm going to be mailing something off to my uh, fr friend Michelle. Um, Mashell, I think it's how you pronounce I'm not sure. Um, later this week. So, um, that's about all we've done. Yeah. We had a good night last night. We made homemade nachos. We couldn't really find a movie that we really wanted to both watch, so, um, that one. What was the Hateful Eight? Yeah, and it was, it, you know, and at first when I when I was reading what it was about, I thought it was going to be done years and years ago, but it was done in 2015. Yeah, it's called the Hateful Eight on Netflix. Yeah, but the guy who did the, the guy who did, oh uh, God, what was that? Pulp Fiction. Yeah. It was the same one who yeah, did this. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a real similar style. I just absolutely could not stand Pulp Fiction. I both of us yeah. not Pulp Fiction fan. I know so many people are. Yeah. Probably so many of you guys are. Yeah. Um, you know. <clears throat> but this one, I know you didn't really care for it, but mm -mm. I, I like this a lot more so than Pulp Fiction. You know, I really like Samuel L. Jackson. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, um, Kurt Russell. Yeah. Yeah, I like both of those guys. Yeah. So, you know, and also a movie that's supposed to take place in Wyoming and you see all these see, errors. Yeah, since we're from Wyoming originally, we see all of the errors in, in so many things. I won't spoil it to none of you guys unless you lived and you grew up in Wyoming. You wouldn't you wouldn't catch all yeah. the things they got wrong. But, um, yes, I just watched some more of my uh, Grey's Anatomy um, and. Uh, Worked on my 5D, um, so I'm going to work on that, and I'm going to work on that some more tonight. Um, oh, and one other thing I wanted to kind of go over, I've had a few people ask me about doing commission pieces. Um, I'm, I certainly will um, talk with you about doing commission pieces. You email me or message me, and um, but the deal is, if we have to agree on... Um, you know, we you have to tell me what you like, and I don't do portraits, so you know, um, this doesn't interest me. It has to be something that interests me. Cause if you come up with something that just totally doesn't doesn't interest me, like let's say kitten chasing butterfly, you know, <laughs> during a hurricane or something, you know, you know, well during a hurricane I might entertain that thought, but you know, um, if it's not something that truly interests me, I'll just be upfront with you. Um, also, um, you know, we have to agree on a price. I tell you the price up front, which includes shipping wherever you are. Um, and, um, it has to be paid up front. And I only take PayPal on that. But the entire amount has to be paid up front. I know I've had a few people want to have me start a piece. And they say they'll pay for it when it gets done. Or that they'll pay for part of it. And then the other half when it gets done. And that's, I don't work that way. You, you pay the entire amount, and I do the piece. I do my very best I can do on the piece, and I mail it out to you. And that's just the way I work. Well, you've had, you, I know just oh. since you and I have been together, you've had several people that that wanted you to do a piece, mm -hmm. and you didn't insist on money up front, mm -hmm. and you did the piece, and then they didn't want it. or didn't. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and uh, it's my time and labor, and, and every piece comes from my heart. So, uh, you know, and that's, I spent a lot of years in college being trained, a lot of, the, a lot, a lot of hours practicing and stuff, mm -hmm. um, you know, in an art studio. And, um, you know, but I just wanted to put that out there. And, and I, like I said, I only take PayPal because, um, you know, we don't do banks and stuff, so I don't want checks and I don't want money orders. So, uh, you know, and I don't want cash. So, <laughs> you know, that's a little too risky, but, yeah. um, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, 
what I don't have anything to show you guys because I'm just kind of doing a chill day at work. So I'm on a 5D piece. It'll be for me actually. It'll be um, um, it's an old witch, uh, which is is a really cool piece. Um, and Brad's loving his job. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did try. I don't know where that little can you that little frappa chatter. Oh, I don't know where the one I put it up here up above. No, I know. I think okay. Yeah. No, I put it up here. I wanted to show you guys that I did try this. Like I said, we very rarely drink, but once in a while you do need to try something, and you know, one drink once in a while is not gonna hurt you. I mean, we might have a drink. Two would be really pushing it on a on a Saturday night. But Brad brought me home this. Let me see if you guys can see this. Called Frappuccata. It's an iced coffee drink. And it is a blend of rum, chata, and dark roast coffee. And I fixed it, or Brad fixed it over ice for me. And then I tried it, and it was a little too strong for me. I don't like the taste of alcohol much. Um... So then we put some milk in it, and I put some of my sugar-free hazelnut uh, coffee syrup, and that was very good. One drink, that's all I wanted. Um, it didn't give me a buzz or anything, which is kind of nice and relaxing. So, but yeah, if you guys ever look, if you go into your liquor store, I don't know what your state does, that's a nice one. And it, for you ladies like me or, or gentlemen that don't like a real strong drink, you know, Brad had a little thing of, and it come in a little, it was a cute thing, come in a little mason jar of moonshine that they sell. And uh, he tried that. What do you think of it? I, it was I, from Tennessee. Yeah. It was sold there in the store. It was uh, Old he, Smoky Distillery. He tried this last night. 50 milliliter bottle. Yeah. Little tiny bottle. I'm keeping the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> he asked me, he goes, can you do something with this? I'm like, oh, probably. <laughs> so I thought it was cute. But he asked me if I wanted to take a sip of it. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I do not want to try moonshine. I'm just a chicken. I don't want to try it. Right, I, Charlie? I wasn't that impressed with it. You know, I mean, some no. people go on and on. But, you know, I, I would rather have a... A good whiskey or a um, pretty much good whiskey or a good rum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had an unopened. Is that bottle open yet? That crown, that crown? No. Uh -uh. How how old? How many years old is it now? Well, actually. Okay, we found this bottle yes. in the garage when we we're cleaning it out there in Wyoming. And I never bought it. Still in a what? What kind of grocery bag was it in? It was in a Walmart bag. And we have no idea who put that in our garage. It was one of our daughter's boyfriends. So we have no idea who. Yeah, it had been unopened. And unopened on that shelf all that time. I don't know if maybe they put it on there and thought they'd get it later and then they just never got to. That might have been the case. Mm -hmm. You know, but that would um, be my guess. So we have no idea how old it is. Well, Brad brought it and still have never opened it. That's just, you just don't. And I think we have, what, Lime Rita's or I don't know. We have some wine coolers and stuff up yeah, there. Yeah, and then we've got a bottle of Camara. Oh, yeah. Which. It'll take me forever to use. Yeah, but, <laughs> you know, Camara's a, a cool. good lesser cost alternative yeah, yeah. to Kahlua, especially yeah. if you're using uh, mm -hmm. um, mixed drinks. Yeah. Hey, excuse me, young lady. That would be so inappropriate to do. But anyway, that's all that's going on, guys. But yep, from now on, no Sunday vlog. So this is because I'm gonna start taking Sundays all the way off because I want to spend it with my honey pie. We just wanna, we just kind of, we just kind of uh, cuddle up in here and and just kind of ignore the world. I ain't been outside. It's like cold. <laughs> it's like cold, cold, cold. Got up this morning and Brad said, ooh, it's pretty cold out. And I'm like, too cold to sit outside. He's like, oh, yeah. 
I still... We hadn't in hair. It's 60 degrees. <laughs> I still... I know. <laughs> you know, in Wyoming, I'd be putting on shorts and getting ready to go and... No, and I'm just wearing like a house dress, you know, and uh, I might wait till tomorrow to go down there and do that. Yeah. It's cold tonight. Yes, it is. Uh, it would be cold out there. Yes, it is. You think yes, it, it would be. You think I should wait? I think you should wait. Yeah, because it's cold out. <laughs> and I tell you guys, it's cold out. It's cold out. It's it's like real feel. It's 55. It's cold out. <laughs> You never guess we lived in Wyoming, man. You you get sixty degrees this time of year, you're like, Oh my god, it's so hot out. I know. Oh, and winter never gonna get here. Right, short, Charlie? Short and t shirt <laughs> right, weather. Charlie. <laughs> yeah. Charlie was being cute. I wonder if they ever come through, I'll show them that picture of, of you and your and Charlie. Charlie went to sleep with we lay down, take nap, and Charlie went to go sleep with uh yeah. with Bradley. You ever come through? I uh, know. Oh, yeah. Well, here you go. This is what Brad was contending with when he was trying to take a nap. <laughs> you know, and I'd, I'd be laying there and I'd feel a little drool dripping down the side of my See, neck. See, that's the thing that's disturbing to me. I can handle the head on the crook of my neck. It's yeah. kind of nice even, but then you feel the drool start. <laughs> and, mmm, you're like, oh, mommy. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't know about that. That is truly disturbing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think it's important to everybody, if you can, one day a week, push back the stuff if you can. Now, I know a lot of you are mommies. And daddies, and, and you have kids going to school tomorrow, or maybe you had a lot of Halloween stuff going this weekend, so you really can't. But if you can, even, you know, push it all back, even for half of a Sunday. Y'all need the downtime again, because I gotta tell you, y'all run around like your heads are cut off. To achieve what? To achieve what? It's not a race. Nope. It's 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 how well you live your life. It's not a race on can I jam as much shit into a day as possible and make myself nuts, make everybody else around me nuts. It's about quality of life. You know, it's about enjoying the moment, having time for your loved one, having time to enjoy your animal, you know, to enjoy a craft or a hobby or a sport or whatever you're into. You know, people find that they're not really into anything and all of a sudden, you, okay, all of a sudden you end up sick. So you run yourself into the ground and you're laid up and you are dr going crazy because you don't know how to just be. You don't know how to relax anymore. You don't know how to, you know, enjoy the moment. And, you know, it's really a pity. I mean, I never wanted to spend my life just running around. I mean, and I never wanted to spend my life just with my husband just running around. Yeah, that check, that paycheck was nice that he worked all those hours, but I wouldn't want him to do that all the time. I definitely wouldn't want him to do that all the time. Well, uh, and I don't remember who, t who said this. I'm sure that, you know, it, it's not a Brad original, but... You know how many people on their deathbed say, God, I wish I would have worked more hours? Yeah, I always tell you, you know? that. Yeah. Nobody on their deathbed says, I wish I would have worked more hours. Mm -hmm. They say, I wish I would have spent more time with my family. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have done that. I wish I would have taken the time to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, your life is precious. None of us are guaranteed a tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's all about the here and now. And you've got to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I mean... I always telling Brad that, you know, like that. Sure, there's things that we both need to be doing today. None of it's earth shattering. The thing you needed to do today, we did, which was the laundry. Because here my, on Mondays, everybody wants to do their laundry. So, you know, we did laundry today. But the rest can wait. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, there's some stuff he needs to, you know, we both need to do tomorrow. And there's some things we'd like to do tomorrow. It can wait. Mm -hmm. It can wait. You know, yeah. just to relax and 
you know, not be hurrying around like crazy mm -hmm. is worth it. Yep. You know, I just, mm -hmm. you know, and it's not a competition of who has the most money. And, you know, I but, don't know. That's why we've never been, I guess a lot of people look at us and they think, well, they haven't done much. They don't have, you know, much money and they don't own a lot of stuff. Well, we're kind of minimalist anyway, in a way, because like that, I, you know, I haven't even talked to him about it, but I don't really think it's necessary for us to get two vehicles for now anyway, because I, I really, Next I like going places with you, you know, and I could tell when I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to go to Dollar Tree. Hey, excuse me. That would be so, that would be rude. Now you get down, get down now. Come on, Nick, get out. Get that is unacceptable. But um, well, I was telling him that I can go to Dollar Tree. I can keep the Jeep and go to Dollar Tree on Thursday. And I can tell you, he's kind of disappointed. Yeah. He likes looking around Dollar Tree well, and stuff. We always do the shopping together. And I just, I like, you know, I don't get enough time with you. Yeah. You know? You know. Well, you don't want me to get in a car wreck. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, not, I'm a good driver, but, mm -hmm. you know, I mean. So, I don't know. A lot of people look at us, like I said, that we don't don't have a lot and, and stuff, and, and that's true, um, but we've got a very happy marriage mm -hmm. for 29 years, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, here soon we will have been together for 30 years. Yeah. January 26th. Yep. And, um... I believe you've put up with me for that long. We've spent a lot of quality time with each other. Mm -hmm. uh, Brad could have had jobs where he made a lot more money. He could have had jobs where he worked out of town. Uh, we've never wanted that. We've never wanted him to work out of town. We, and, and, you know, he could have risen up the corporate ladder. But, he, first of all, he's not willing to play the game and put in the insane hours, mm -hmm. you know. Well, what were you telling me, what were you pointing out uh, this morning, when we were talking about that this morning, about before, when you and I met, that uh, uh, I would give away shifts because... When, you know, before we met, Brad would work enough to cover his bills, and then he would give away shifts. You know, um, there's two. He likes, you know, he likes relaxing, to relax. He likes to, you know, do things... Um, off on his own and stuff. The money wasn't all important. And, you know, then he met me and he knew the money wasn't important to me, mm -hmm. you know. So, you I know mean, that. nothing replaces you being around. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I will never forget. Um, when we first started going out, you kind of got after me about, you know, not spending a lot of money on you and, you know. You know, because he, he, he was used to women that wanted him to spend a lot of money on them. And, you know, he kept wanting to, you know, he took me out to a very, very fancy dinner. And that was nice. But I'm like, don't do that again. You know, and um, I said, we we're both really nervous and uptight. It's a fancy restaurant. That's not us. No. Um, and, um, but he didn't know that wasn't me, you know, and he was trying to be nice and stuff. Um, you know, and, um, you know, he was trying to, uh, you know, he would try to buy me stuff and, and stuff, just being a gentleman and stuff. And I'm like, Hey, you don't need to do that. You don't need to, you know, I know you have bills of your own. You need to buy me stuff. And, you know, and then the first time we went to the grocery store to get some stuff for his apartment and I was showing him, hey, you know, if you buy this family pack of meat instead, we can divide it up, and you save so much money, and, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, we still do that, yeah, oh, yeah, we still always do that, but, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's not all about the money, mm -hmm. yeah, I've had family members who, um, have had a lot of money, and you, they're passed away now, and, uh, the money didn't help save them, um, you know, when you get a terminal illness or anything, it doesn't save you. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of people where their spouse is always gone, and then all of a sudden their spouse dies, or they they die and stuff. And, I mean, time is just too precious. Mm -hmm. Hug those babies. Take that time, you know. Well, you know, and remember when the, the girls were, oh, 
it must have been somewhere between ages 6 and 12. And uh, I was one of the night managers there at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. And I put in, I was working four to one, you know, so I would be pulling out of the driveway when they'd be coming, walking home from school. And I get home and they're asleep when I get home and then they're gone by the time I left. And I remember mm -hmm. there were several times we kept them out of school and, yeah, you know, we took them to the park or took them fishing or, yeah. you know, stuff like that. We used to do that because, um, well, because I would go pick them up when we had it timed out. I had just enough time to go pick them up, get home, Brad would get in the shower when I left to go pick up the girls from school and then he would need the car to go to work. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but anyway, that's just us. That's just our lifestyle. Um, you know, I've always loved being a stay-at-home mother for the most part. I've worked side jobs and, and, and whatnot, you know, I've sold different stuff. Um, and now I like to be a, a housewife. You know, no matter what size your house is, you still got to run a house. You know? Right, hon? And it doesn't matter what size your house is, I'm still messy. <laughs> Yes, he is. I will tell you this. When he goes back to work after being home for two days, there's quite the mess to clean up. <laughs> I'm like, really? But anyway, that's all we got to say, guy. You know, take the time to, to, to be with your loved ones or your friends or, or whatever is your passion in life. Yeah. Because, you know... Nobody ever said they wish they would have worked more. They say they wish they would have done this. They wish they would have spent time with this person, that person, told this person this and that. You know. Yeah, there's all, I mean, think about all the things that we all put off when we're younger that we're going to do when it's the perfect moment. Basically, a lot of us that have, like, uh, weight problems or what we consider weight problems and we put off doing this or that. Then you may have something happen where you can no longer do that. You know, like I can't roller skate any longer. That's not the biggest, you know, thing in, in my life right now. But, you know, there's things like Brad can no longer shoot. He used to love to shoot a rifle and a pistol and he was extremely good at it. With the familiar tremors in his hands and his eyesight, he no longer can do that. You know, well, you could still physically do it. It would be very... Yeah. I don't know how you, it would be very difficult, wouldn't it? Yeah, with the way my hand yeah. shakes. So, I mean, and I know everybody as the age has things, well, I can't do this any longer. I used to love to dance, you know. But, you know, that's why I always, I, I you know, embrace the artwork and the other things I can do. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a, um, a painful day for me today as far as the arthritis and stuff goes. Um, uh, it's not as bad as, remember in Wyoming there for a while, you were having to help me even get up and down from a chair and stuff, yep. you know, um, I, you know, I'm still, but I'm just in, in some pain, but it's okay. I'm handling it. Anyway, I've rattled on long enough. How about right, for honey? a short video, I right? Know. <laughs> well, love you guys. I do cherish your friendship so much. And I think you guys are awesome. Mm -hmm. And... We will see you tomorrow. Say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys.